Yes, I was afraid. I was terrified. So my health issue that I was having. I've been through the darkest road every day. I mean, if you thank God, say me still alive. I was on vacation and I started vomiting. I started throwing up. It has feel again become me overcome every obstacle we're coming at me life. I want to take time and explain my story was because the hernia was at my side. Well, enough of them, I look for some flap on my shop. I'm going down in this, I get back up and stand up. When they came back with the results, while I was in the hospital, God, they are my side in the times when it rough. Come and stand up in this, up in this, up in this. Welcome back, viewers and subscribers, to another upload. And in this one, we have Spice. Basically, she went live and addressing all the rumors about she being in DR. You know, she addressed the alleged pregnancy. You know, basically, Spice was speaking, people. She addressed everything. You want to stick around for this. You know, she talked about surgery and the complications that she was having, you know, her ruptured arena and stuff. She talked about how she basically could have lost her life, people. And she's giving God thanks, you know. She got a lot of chances and she's here to do good with it, people. You know, she's giving God praises for saving her life. You know, she could have died and stuff like that, people. So we have Spice on this live speaking. Don't forget to leave a like on this video guys, very important. Also leave your comments down in the comment section and subscribe to the channel. I want to just jump right into it. I don't know how I'm going to answer so many questions and talk about so many things in such a short space of time. But um, I believe that before anything, I owe you guys an ex a, a conversation and a conversation that's long overdue and so i just want to jump into it and to get certain things out there and we can chit chat a little bit and go through everything i know it's been a long while and i wanted you to know that i didn't purposely disappear i didn't purposely um was not coming on live i know you guys love to see me on live and it feels good to be on live. But before I go any further, I just want to give God all the glory and all the honor, all the thanks and all the praise for this moment, for this beautiful day, um, for joining us back together in, in life, you know. Um, all right. So where do I start from? There's so many things to talk about. There's so many questions so many concerns and i don't even know where to start to be honest but i'm just going to be led by the holy spirit um so let's rewind to last year let us go back in time a little bit um last year october As you all know, I came off of Instagram because I felt targeted. I feel like everybody was kind of waking up every day trying to talk about me. And um, there was just sense of burden that came over me. Like, everything is spice. Every day I spice. Everything happened. I just me. Like, you know, I was being targeted. And so I came off of Instagram. And I, I remember telling you guys Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from last year, October. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this moment for myself to kind of rejuvenate, heal. I was going through a lot of health issues um, that I want to kind of walk you guys through. Because sometimes we're on Instagram and because we see people laughing, we feel like, oh, they're happy. Not every laugh means happy. And um, I just want to be open. I want to be vulnerable. I want to be used by God to educate women on this tragic situation that I've been through. I, um, I've never come on live not knowing what I'm going to say. Yes, I'm scared. Yes, I'm afraid. Yes, I, because you see, I know that at the end of this life, in a matter of what I say, in a matter of what I explain, in a matter of what I tell you, know, there's still going to be people that's going to have their own opinion, still going to be people that's going to probably laugh, that's going to drag me, that's going to bash me, that's going to do whatever. But at the end of the day, this life is not about them. It's about me and people who genuinely love and care for me. And so I want to take this time out to say, last year, if you had prayed for me, if you had genuinely prayed for me last year, 
thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to even start there. You know, I want to start with God. I want to give him the glory. I want to give him all the thanks, all the praise. I want to acknowledge that there is a God. I want to acknowledge that Jesus is king. I want to acknowledge that I'm standing here by the grace of God. And I want to acknowledge that your prayers worked. If you prayed for me, if you was concerned, thank you. I appreciate you all because it's been a rough journey. So let us just go back and um, walk you through the journey. Um, so my health issue that I was having, I want to see if I know how to use this as best as possible because I want to also include photos in this live just so that you can understand what I was going through. I want to be very vulnerable and I want to show you everything. So let me go into this collage. As you all know, because it's no secret, I had... Um, procedures done before I did liposuction and I had a tummy tuck done. This is a picture of my real stomach. Um, I was suffering from something called fibrosis and fibrosis is something that you get lumps in your belly, you know? So because of my past surgeries that I did before, I had something called fibrosis and it's when you don't get your lymphatic massages done. So you get lumps in your belly. So this was what my real stomach looked like. But to be honest, I love myself like with my flaws and all. It wasn't really bothering me. It was like neither here nor there for me. Um, I went about my day and it started to affect me when it started showing up in my outfit. Yeah, just, just bear with me, guys. I just want to be vulnerable with you guys. And I want to be open and honest. And so that's what I was going through. And like I said, it never bothered me until it started to show up into my outfits. And so this is what it would look like in my clothing. If you zoom this picture, I'm zooming my own self. Okay, hold on. I can't zoom the picture. But if you look and you notice, it shows up through my clothes. And so the lumps started to get painful. Um, in this picture, that was like the real reality of what my stomach looked like. All right. Um, so sometimes when I see people on Instagram and because them can't use up and because them can't smooth out. And so it doesn't mean that everything is okay. So that was the picture of what I was going through. And let me continue. So I decided to go to the DR because a lot of people was like, oh, why she wouldn't go to Miami? Why she go to America? Why she go to DR? I chose to go to the DR because I feel like I was more popular in America. And because obviously because of the same thing that happened when the things hit the internet, I was trying to avoid that. So I go to DR because of course, you know, it's a Spanish speaking country. So, you know, I wanted to consult to find out what was really wrong with me or what you know, why my stomach was looking like that's why I was feeling pain while I was getting lumps in the stomach. All right. So that was what I was going through. Um, while I was in the DR, as you know, when you get a breast implant, well, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm wrong for saying that because I don't think everybody knows. So let me say, I don't think, you know, but when you get a breast implant, it only has 10 year lifespan. Okay. So that was what I was going through through my stomach. So let me fast forward to when I went to the DR. So I went to the DR, I got my um, implants changed. And when I got my implants changed, I was consulting about my stomach and they did a mild procedure because you know, it's fibrosis. So there's nothing, it was a very mild procedure. And I was there, I was told to stay back for like a couple of days. So I was on vacation. I was doing fine. My ticket was booked to go back to Jamaica. I was doing well. Like, well, as far as I thought, I was doing well. I was walking around. I want to share something else. Can I share videos or no? I can't share videos. No! <laughs> I can't share videos. That's amazing. So I was on vacation and I was chilling on the beach. I was doing good. As you see, I see Michael Jackson at DR. I'm excited. And I was just relaxing on the beach and I was booked. I booked to go back to Jamaica. However, I ate something and I, um, 
I started vomiting. I started throwing up. But to be honest, everybody that knows me knows that when I travel, I always bring my local Jamaican food, my bread, and my this and my that and my that. So yeah, I was on vacation and I started vomiting. I started throwing up. So the vomit became very alarming to me because it, it, it wouldn't stop. So out of concern, the surgeon that I know over there, and my friends actually, big up to my friends over there, they called the doctor and they was like, no man, something is wrong with Grace. Like, can you come and check it out or whatever, whatever. When he came, to be honest, when I went there, let me go back a little bit. When I went there and I did my consult with my stomach, he was like, he asked me if I had a hernia because he noticed there was a bulge right at my belly button there or to the, if you look back on the picture, like long story short, I was like, no, I was like, not that I'm aware of or whatever, but obviously they did the procedure and he never see nothing, you know, wrong. And the reason why he never see anything wrong was I want to get to that. I want to take time and explain my story was because the hernia was at my side. Um, and so when they did the procedure to the front to do your breasts, they had no reason to do um, scans to the side. And so he didn't see that I have a, a, a hernia. So long story short, to just fast forward quickly, I vomiting, I went to the doctor, um, and he was very concerned when he touched my stomach. I was in a, like feeling a lot of pain and I kept vomiting, I kept throwing up. I couldn't keep nothing down. It just repeatedly vomiting. And so he called and, um, at the day when I went, it was a Sunday. And so there wasn't no body there to do like the MRI and stuff. Let me go back in the phone again. Because I want to share, I want to share everything. Okay. So he called an ambulance. That's me when I was in the ambulance. All right. Um, he called an ambulance to take me to another hospital yeah because the one that he worked when i went there it was a sunday and so he was like i don't like how you're vomiting i don't like your you know the feeling in your stomach we need to rush you to the hospital and we need to do an mri um that was when i was going to the hospital in the ambulance and so that was when i was in the hospital that was when i was being rushed to the hospital in an ambulance okay so let's get off this picture now and stop sharing so after they rushed me to the hospital, they did an MRI, you know, that big machine, then pushed me through the, the MRI machine. And I can vividly remember when they came back with the results while I was in the hospital. And I saw different like doctors and surgeons coming into the room. I can vividly remember the look on their faces like something was wrong. I remember I, t I took I took up my phone and I called my sister and I was crying like I was I went ballistic because them over there them not talk English them speak Spanish so most of them did that did that talk Spanish but you you know when you can't see somebody facial expression looking back at it and when I what I went through I can say that it's like them I look upon me like how the fuck is she right here like not dying or crying or in you know like how oh, she just lie down this up because what they found in the MRI scan was that I had a hernia. I want to explain this properly. I'm sorry I couldn't put down the phone. But what they found was that I had a hernia to my side and my intestines went through the hernia. My sister sent me a picture. I wonder if we can find it on WhatsApp. Lord Jesus. I guess whoever knows that I wanted to show you what it was like, but I had a hernia. It poked through my, my intestines was going through the hernia because, you know, the hernia is a space in the muscle. And so what I was told was that my intestines was going through that little space that I had in the side, which is the hernia. And it erupted. But thank God that I had the hernia because it erupted on the outside of uh, outside of my muscle wall i don't know if i'm even saying it correctly the the intestines erupted outside of that hernia muscle wall and so if if i didn't have the hernia which is that space in the muscle like that hole the intestine would have erupted inside of me 
if I'm not saying it correctly, I apologize. I'm just trying to be as accurate as how the doctors explained it to me. But when the intestines erupted, it started to poison my body and it sent me into a sepsis shock. And the sepsis is the poisoning. That sepsis is a lot of people and that's, I'm just so grateful I'm so grateful to be here, to be alive, to be talking to you. I'm so grateful for this day. I'm so grateful to God. So the sepsis started attacking my lungs and it started to attack some of the organs in my body. Um, the sepsis literally started to eat my skin. Like, oh my God, I don't know how to explain it to you but my skin started to deteriorate. It started to eat my skin. It started to attack my lungs. And I didn't even know that sepsis was so dangerous. Or I, when I woke up and what I was going through, I'll get to that point, but it's like looking back at it, I can't believe that there's something as sepsis that is so dangerous. It literally, Rotten out the entire part of my stomach where let me just show you the picture I'm, and and I didn't want to share this picture I didn't want to share the picture because my nose said there's so many people that are so insensitive and the, the the blogs and the media are gonna have a field deal with it some might laugh some might mock me some might jeer me but I want to be open and I want to be vulnerable and I feel like I I got I oh God this. This is a testimony. This happened to me for a reason. Like I'm not gonna keep it a secret. It don't matter oh you know, look at it, it don't matter what you want to say, it don't matter what happens to me after today. Yes, I'm nervous, yes, I know, yes, I'm scared. Um, yes, I did not want to personally share this picture, but I got a testimony from God. I'm going to to share it. I can't keep this a secret. I have to talk about God. I have to talk about Jesus. I have to show you what God did for me. I have to show you what Jesus brought me through, what Jesus walked me through. So even though I didn't want to share this picture, and I'm going to tell you, it's if you don't want to see my journey, I would advise you not to be on this live. Take a deep breath. It's very but I, I like I said I just want to be vulnerable and open with you I want to be honest I want to share what happened to you I'll share it very quickly and this is what the sepsis did to my did to me it ate away my entire stomach um and I died in DR okay guys I literally died and this is when I died like nobody can tell me different um Yeah, I know it's very good. Um, I'm sorry, but I want to just get this off. I want to share everything. I just want to be vulnerable. I want to be used by God. I want to share my testimony. I want to show you what God did for me. Jesus is king. And I just believe that I need to highlight that. I need to showcase that. I need to show you how good God is. And so that's what I woke up to. Okay, so... Um, let me just take a deep breath because when I see things like that, I get emotional. And I don't want to get emotional. I want to remain strong. I kind of put the blue hearts over it because um, some part of it was just too tragic. But um, woo, woo, ah, mm -hmm. so yeah, all right. Um, yeah, I don't want to get emotional. So that's really what happened to me. So after the sepsis ate away my stomach, it attacked my lungs. The doctors over there in DR, I just want to um, highlight them a little bit. I want to big them up. Um, I am grateful, so grateful that they never gave up on me. They, um, whew. Let me stop a little bit. I don't want to cry. I just want, I just want to, you know um get everything out there um all right one minute one minute one minute Woo! I guess I wouldn't cry so all right so where was I um I was thanking the doctors in DR that never gave up on me that was fighting through the sepsis to 
um to save my life so they um they opened my chest i have a scar going down they had to open me up to go inside to stitch back the hernia i guess to place back the intestines in the wall that it was supposed to be in <clears throat> and so they um they opened me up they went inside they stitched back the hernia and um yeah i want to fast forward okay they opened me up they stitched back the hernia and so when i woke up big up to um i don't know if the doctors want to be mentioned but big up to to the doctors over there it was a lot of them the infectologist oh my god was so amazing dr paralysis mm -hmm. paralga i think or paralysis i'm so sorry but the infectologist was amazing my surgeon was amazing the other doctors it was because i remember vividly there were so many people in that room but I, I <laughs> they could have given up on me because like i said i, I died in dr um but i thank them that they didn't that they fought through what i was going through that they went inside that they stitched the hernia that um they repaired me that they um they did what they did so i'm so grateful and i thank everyone from dr who fought with me i thank you jesus i will not stop saying this and so i'm a type of person i worship a lot i worship at home i give god glory i give god thanks i give god praise but i never used to come out publicly all the time and just to include him and stuff like that so you know when i'm at home i'm like a totally different person from that artist that you know you know i'm a woman of god i'm a god-fearing woman i'm a prayer warrior and that's why i go through so much because that's what happened when you know you accept god as you know your king and also that's why no weapon will rise up against me never prosper so i was in the hospital from october i left dr i came to america um <laughs> and i did another surgery immediately when i got here okay um they had tried to staple staple me up when i came to america they opened me back up they put me back in surgery because i was infected with the sepsis so bad I was infected with the sepsis so bad so that they, they wanted to kind of clean me up. So I did another surgery again. All right. Okay. Fast forward. I was in the hospital from October to December. That's how bad my situation was. So a lot of times I used to go on my phone and I used to people say, oh, she not come explain this. Oh, she not have life. Oh, she not. Like I was dying. Like I literally was losing my life. I, um... I was going through a lot. So apart from that, that I went through, I was in the hospital for months. I was going through other things. I was, I came out of the hospital in December. I had that wound still when I came out because that wound had to self close. It's been six months now. And so, yes, it is healed. It is closed. And we're going to get to that part. But before we get to today, after they let me out of the hospital and I, I went home to my family, you saw the Christmas pictures. I was wrapping my kids' gift and present, even with that wound open. I was so determined to still let them have a good time. I was so grateful to God, right? And so when you saw me in Christmas, yes, I did still have that scar underneath my clothing. Um, I don't want to leave anything out because I'm not going to do this every day with you guys. Um, big up to Kiki. I just said she's a woman of God. You know, we pray and worship every day and all the time. So big up yourself. Just give God the glory. Just give God the glory. And even the bloggers. I know not have a field day with this life. But when you not even talk about me, even if you not talk bad about me or whatever it is, when you not talk about me and you not talk about my story, just never forget to mention God. Never forget to mention say God is God. He's the King. King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Alpha, the Omega. 
Hilo him, Hilo ish, chastity. Like, just remember to include God. Because today is not about me. Just take me out of the equation. Drag me all on the wall. Bash me all on the wall. Say all the bad about me that you want. I'm okay. I'm good with it. Because I always tell people, I don't care what people think about me. As long as my heart is right with God, me good. So you can say whatever you want about me. But just remember to include God today. Because today may I give God him glory. Today may I give God him praise. Today may I want to tell us that Jesus is king. To them, I want to tell us that there is a God. To them, I want to be the testimony for show you what God walked me through, where he took me from and to this. And yes, I'm going to show you my scars. I'm going to show you my process. I'm going to show you <laughs> that there is a God and what he brought me through. So I was in the hospital and I couldn't eat for months. I want to get to that part. I, I wasn't eating. Um, which is why I see most of you saying, I got my face done. I got my nose done. I got whatever done. Um, I didn't go to the DR to do a BBL. That was not true. Um, not every time you hear surgery, everybody think a BBL. I think it's something with black people. Every time when they hear surgery, they just automatically think a BBL. I was not trying to do a BBL. Um, but fast forward to people thinking that I lost weight because of the surgery that i did that was not true i went into the hospital um as 200 pounds and when i came out of the hospital i was 170 pounds or i should say i was 165 i lost 35 pounds because i wasn't allowed to eat so this is how i was eating they used to feed me through my neck i still have the scars um if, I don't know if you can see there. If you see three dots on my neck. I don't know if it's there. But yeah, they used to feed me through my neck. And that's how I lost weight. So if you feel like my facial features, don't think that I did anything. And please stop saying I did my face, I did my nose, I did my this, I did my that. I lost weight. I lost weight because I was sick. I lost weight because I was going through it, Okay. And so I was getting fed through the tubes in my neck, okay? Um, so that's really why I lost a lot of weight. Woo! All right. So where are we now? I have so much things to talk about. <laughs> I have so much things to talk about. But, you know, I just want to give God glory. I just want to give him praise. I just want you to know that today belongs to God. Today belongs to Jesus. I just want to continue to repeat it and let you know that when you talk about me, you talk about my story, whether it's going to be good or bad, just remember to say God is good, okay? All right, so fast forward to when I came out of the hospital. I lost a lot of weight. I was extremely sick. The wound that I had, they couldn't close it because my skin was rotten. Like, you know, they can't sew that up. So it had to close by itself. Um, when I came out of the hospital, I went back into the hospital again because obviously i guess because they work on my stomach i started to have all kind of side effects and stuff so i had another problem lord jesus i'm full of problem i'm sorry well guys they're about to come get me for the surgery again as you know i've been having health issues and this i'm a fourth surgery fourth surgery in a three months um, I don't know what to say, how I feel, it's like my mind blank, but I don't know if I think, if me can't bother, if me, I don't know. All I know is that I just put my trust in a God and I just leave it all up to him. That's all I know. But pray for me, guys. All right, you so. Know. Hey. You ready? Yes. Yeah. We have all right, so I, I, I went back into the hospital again after I came out um, for something that they call cholecystitis. They wanted to do another surgery procedure on me to remove my gallbladder because I was having issues again in the stomach area. I feel like from the moment they went in my stomach, there's so many different things that was happening. And fast forward, I went back to the hospital again, okay? And for this past six months, I've been in and out of the hospital and in and out of surgery, Right? And so, again, I want to tell you the walk that I had with Jesus, that God is good. He kept me. He brought me through. And so I never intentionally, intentionally was 
staying away from you guys or I was keeping any secrets or was it what I was really just going through a lot and I was going through it and I appreciate the priors so much I remember you know hearing that people was praying for me and I was just so grateful like, I don't want to cry again or talk about it because it's like I get so emotional sometimes but I just want everybody to know say if you took the time out to pray for me I appreciate it as long as it was a genuine prayer as long as you really genuinely cared and you loved me and you was praying and you was concerned, thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart because your prayers went from your lips to God's ears and he heard it. Your prayers was answered. I am grateful. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive. I am truly just honored to be chosen with this testimony from God. I am honored to be able to say that I escaped debt. I am honored to be given a second chance to life. Fast forward to the picture that I posted when I appeared to be pregnant, it still goes back to show not everything that you see with the eyes you believe on Instagram. Because like I said, not because you see somebody happy and laughing on Instagram, that means their life is really happy. And that's what it is. So don't follow everything that you see. I never said I was pregnant. I said, God has been good to me. And that picture is just for me celebrating my new life. It's me celebrating my journey, my walk. It's me wanting to have that picture to blow up and put in my house. To remember that there's a God. To remember that I got a second chance at life. To remember that I have a new life. Um, so from time to time, if you hear me speak about my first life and my second life, do not think I'm crazy. Because I died in my first life. And I was given a second life, a second chance at life. And I do not take that for granted. I do not take that lightly. I give God all the glory, all the honor, all the thanks, on all the praise. And I want to say thank you, Jesus. That, you know, I escaped death. That I was given a second chance to life. That was my rebirth. It's my new life. I, um, I do have a song that's called New Life. But I never wanted this to be about songs and promoting songs. This is, this is God time. This is God moment. So the new life song that I have will come later. It's not about that. You notice I'm not playing no songs in the background. I'm not trying to promote any songs. This is not about me. This is not about, you know, no promotion or it's just be me being real and honest and open. So viewers and subscribers, you can leave your comments in the comment section about what you think about Spice sharing her testimony, sharing her journey, you know, about what happened to her in DR and that she's, she has gotten a new chance at life. Yes, people. And she also said that, you know, we should remember to mention God above all things in this, that it was God who brought her through. So we have to say praises to God that she is still here. And hope everybody, you know, just say a prayer for Spice because she could have not been here today. Okay, so leave a like on the video, guys.